Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church, and today is Monday, which means we got another devotional to start your week. And so every Monday, uh, what we try to do is just get together for a little bit of inspiration, a little prayer, just so that we can start our week thinking about scriptures and thinking about our time and our week ahead with God. So today I have a passage from John 17.3, and this is Jesus speaking. This is Jesus's prayer, okay? It says, and this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. That verse raises a, a good question. Do you know God? Right? Because that's Jesus' prayer, that, that we would know the true God and Jesus Christ. So, do you know God? How, how do you know God? I mean, probably you know God from a book, right? We know God from a book. And we probably know God from uh, go going to church and uh, hearing stories as we grew up. I don't know if everybody knows this, but Joanna and I met, I met my wife, on the internet. We met on America Online, long time back, right? We've been married over 20 years. And I gotta say, I knew a lot about her when I met her, right? Uh, we exchanged pictures and we wrote emails to each other all the time, but I can't say that I really knew her until I met her, until I got on a plane and flew to Los Angeles to meet her and see her face to face. I mean, sure, we talked on the phone and there was a lot of things we did know about each other, but did I really know her until I met her, until I experienced her in real life. How do we know God? Do we only know God from reading from this book? Is it just head knowledge or do we actually have experiences in our life where God has met us and touched us? Philippians 3 8 says, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Paul says, everything else in my life fades away because I know Jesus Christ. Don't settle for just words on a page. That does not have to be your only experience with God. Don't settle for just head knowledge or learning facts about God. God wants to be known and he wants us to know him. Jesus is praying that we would experience all of this. That we would experience the height and the width and the depth of God. How? How do you experience God? Well, I think naturally, the longer we walk with God, certainly, I think there's moments where we talk to God and we listen. We allow God to speak to us. And I think in those prayers, that's what we should be asking. We should be asking God to reveal himself to us in our life. Reveal biblical promises, reveal biblical truths, but also reveal God's nature, his character. We want that. We want that relationship. We want a relationship with God that goes deeper than just words, right? Deeper than just printed text. We want that personal relationship with God that we see Jesus praying for, that we hear Paul talking about. So just make that your prayer this week, that you would experience God, that you would experience his presence, that you would know him and know his son. Let's pray. Lord, as your word suggests, allow us to experience you fully. Allow us to know you and your son. Lord, the closer my relationship is with you, the better. And I want to know you and the full extent of your glory. Amen. Hey, thanks for tuning in today for this really quick devotional. I hope you come back to Facebook Live on Thursday at one o'clock. I'll be going live on Facebook. We'll go over some announcements. We'll have another devotional and prepare you for our worship experiences this weekend. Thanks, guys. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.